How's it going everyone? Brandon from Among My Guys back today with a One Piece video. I'm sorry, yesterday it wasn't my fault. Manga Stream did not come out with the chapter um, early in the morning. Usually they come out, if I'm not wrong, at 1 or 12 o'clock, but it was not out by 3 and I had to go to work. And then when I had two jobs yesterday, so I didn't have time to make the video yesterday. And it's still not on Manga Stream. I'm on this website called One Piece spark.blogspot.com so I don't know what is up with manga stream and if it's going to be like this for a while but let me know if you guys know in the comments a reliable website to watch this on read it on um, because I always use manga stream and I'm gonna check right now just to be sure yeah it's still not up on manga stream and it's Saturday at like um, 3 o'clock so I don't know what's going on here but um we have it on this other website hopefully it's a good one uh, one piece spark.blogspot.com and uh Who's excited for One Piece? Let's fucking go. The end of last chapter, we got to Sanji was coming with the cake for Big Mom, and that's where it ended off. So let's go. It feels like so long since we've had One Piece. So let's go. All right, so the cover page is, well, the title of the chapter is Recognize as Strong Opponents. Okay. Uh, Tales of the Self-Proclaimed Straw Hat Grand Fleet, Volume 24, Leo Arc. A present from Jess Rosa, and they have a ship made by the people from Jess Rosa in the Usopp shape where he got defeated sugar. That's just so silly. I wanna like it but I also don't wanna like it so I don't even know what to say so I'm not even gonna say anything. I'm page two on this website. Right to left, not Tower of God left to right, one piece is right to left. Nami crying, everyone, Mina A silhouette of hope. A ship's here, it's got the cake on board, it's Sanji. Forgot Chopper was still in Monster Point. Sanji Kun and the others made the cake and came back for us. Ooh, oh my god, that's Prometheus in the middle of the page. I thought that was like a text bubble with nothing in it for a second. That's Prometheus. Sanji, ooh, Sanji san. Sanji san. And even Prometheus, like mama, she smells she smells it. She's fiending for that cake. Look at her sniffing. What a sweet fragrance. I love her text bubbles. Oh my god. Hey there. Oh, is she just gonna jump on the ship and just like hit everybody off and just take the cake? I wanna know what she's gonna do. Hey, there they are. It's your crew and Big Mom. The whole damn fleet's tailing them. And their ships look pretty done in. Man your positions, everyone. Page three. Uh, yes, sir. Tsunami <laughs> I should have known when he was, he was winding up for that with the N. Tsunami san. <laughs> I've come to save you. How many hours have Big Mom and Perro Sparrow been chasing them? Yeah, how long has it been? I like it's been at least like eight, I think. It's because it's all night long, which has to be exhausting. Oh my god, I can't imagine like the stress and anxiety that puts you under. They did well to survive this long, especially since they currently don't have a captain. Yo, Capone. I don't know why, but that phrase. It's, it's like two in one, it's like opponent buying them, and it's also like him like watch out for the Straw Hat Pirates because he looks like, he looks pissed, he doesn't look like admiration, that's like, fuck. It's like he's looking at an enemy right there. And Sanji's just freaking out, he's got the big nose. Hit page four. Nami sweating, I see somebody's shadow on the boat, do you feel... <laughs> Nami asking about hockey, do you feel a weird aura? Well, it isn't hockey that <laughs> he's talking about, Sanji. <laughs> you feel a weird aura, Sanji's metal-y. Well, it isn't hockey. That ship is Bigs. Why is it here? Hmm, did someone just dance on the bow of that ship? Perowine looks like they actually managed to recreate the wedding cake. If the taste makes the cup, Mama's tantrum should stop. But Big is involved. The case must be poisoned. Power Sparrow's on that already. And he was going to poison it if it wasn't for Sanji. She she stopped attacking Huff. Ch Chopper's about to, about to lose his um, monster point, I think. I thought, Huff, Huff, that it was going to be the end of us. Power Sparrow's freaking out. He's contemplating whether he should let Mama die or not. Should I destroy that cake? No, if I do, then Mama's tantrum will be unstoppable. This country will be annihilated. But if Mama eats the poison cake and dies, it will be the end of both this country and our pirate crew. He's having like an existential crisis right now. What would you do in that situation? I mean, it'd be easy for him to let her eat it because she's going to figure out that he lied to her. 
her tantrum won't be stopped, and the country could be destroyed. And also, it could not be poison, because he's not 100% sure it is. But, he probably should not let her eat it. But it'd be very easy to just let her eat it. Page 5. Blackleg, we held up our end of the deal, now we'll be taking this cake. As we prom as we prom as promised, we will not lay a hand on Mama until she eats it and is full, but after that, I'm free to do whatever I want. Got it? Yeah, whatever. Do what you want. Our mission was to solely calm down Big Mom. She'll definitely stop. Ooh, putting, hey Sanji-san, you better hurry up if you don't want to die. Right, Rybian Super Express. Okay, so her, on her carpet. Oh, so Sanji and Pudding are dipping out of that. It's just beige. Be fast enough so that Big Brother Peros and Big Brother Bravarios doesn't notice us. That's the guy's name. Bavarios. What about Daifuku? Okay. That carpet is still fucking creepy looking. Okay, page six. Oh, big mom. Let's go. I finally found it. Even Prometheus and uh, uh, Napoleon. Yes, mama. What's gonna happen with Zeus? Oh my god, so many questions. Wedding cake. And sorry if I'm not like, my voice sounds a little raspy. I'm a little bit under the weather. I have a sore throat. I Sorry about that, but wedding cake. Prometheus is huge. And because he looks so big compared to Mama, but Mama is huge too. God. Mama. I can't wait to see her go all out in a fight when she's at full power. It's going to be so epic. Alright, page 7. She's coming. Put the helm to starboard. Full speed to southwest. Head towards Liquor Island. Liquor Island? Yes, sir. Master Peril Sparrow, the ship carrying the cake is... Chase, is changing directions, so they're trying to lure her somewhere else. Liquor Island. There's no way that they're gonna outrun Big Mom and Prometheus. That's not gonna happen. And there's a Sunny, all burned and destroyed. And Brooke's just like, up, oh, up. Oh. And Saji, yo, I'm back. That's a pretty cool panel. Yo. Why Brooke say ah? Oh. Yo, I'm back. Sanji couldn't. Sanji san! Oh, yeah, Chopper's back to his normal form. Pudding san. Aw, oh, I'd love that. that. That's a cool panel. Yo, I'm back. <laughs> Ever so cool. Alright, uh, page 8. Aw, oh, got a little reunion. I'm so glad you're both alright. Same goes to you guys. It was so close, I thought it was going to be impossible, but thank you. Oh, wow. Oh, son. <laughs> He looks like he's about to have an aneurysm with Nami hugging him. What the fuck? She, she's hugged him before. But it looks like he's about his boner is about to like stab through her chest. That's what I can imagine is about to happen. What the fuck? Oh my god. And she's about to cry. Oh! Oh my god, if this was right after the time skip, he would have died instantly. This is probably... If, if Boa Hancock gave him a hand job, it probably wouldn't even be this bad. Oh my god. And then... Uh, so, wait, wait, I'm sorry, I'm trying to take all this in. Um, and Nami doesn't even say anything. Like, they, they just said thank you. And then Sanji looks at her, he huffs and puffs, he's freaking out. And then he just goes, I love you too, Nami Swan. And he's not even, she's not even on him. He's just like spinning around in a tornado. And she just looks like she just backed off, like, whoa. By the way, Sanji San, why are we on Beige's ship? Are they heading somewhere else? And there's Oda just directing it away from the, the romance. Can't have any of that. I wouldn't mind by the end of the series if, like, there were some pairings. But I don't know how I would feel about them being in the crew because the crew is like a family and it'd be kind of weird if like they got together like, I mean I know a lot of people ship like Robin and Frankie or Robin and Zoro and Luffy and Nami the only pairing I could see in One Piece as a general actually there's two Usopp and Kaya and um, Zoro and Tashiki I could see that happening but none within the Straw Hats that's like it's a little it's a no no what Big Mom will be doing after eating the cake is unknown, so they're going to move the cake to a nearby island for us. Okay, so that's why they're doing it, but there's no way they're going to outrun her. Huh? That's practically eating the bait. Why are they being so kind all of a sudden? It seems like they haven't given up on the assassination yet. I'm okay with it as long as the ship is able to get out safely. It's great 
that they'll lure Big Mom. Yeah, it really is. Capone really wanting to end Big Mom here. Page 9. But you guys sure got done in good. Sorry, even though... Yeah, the... Oh. You can see some of the wreckage from the Sunny. There's a huge chunk taken out of like the door. And you can see the, the, the sail burned down a little bit. And there's a chunk taken out of like the deck and the side too. Oh. It's not actually as bad as I thought, but it's still like, still the first time an enemy has damaged the ship. Um, sorry, even though I was there. What do you got? And then Jinbei's like, sorry, even though I was here. Jinbei, what are you saying, Jinbei? If it wasn't... if you, Jim, ugh, What are you saying? If Jinbei wasn't here, we'd all be... Chopper's saying that. And then Sanji's like, we can... We can chat later. I'm glad everyone is alright. Where did Pedro... Ooh. Where did Pedro and Carrot Chan go? Alright, Carrot's here. But... Pedro? A little different story. And Nami's like, that? And Brooke just goes, they're sleeping. They all... They got worn out from battling. So they're in the room, both of them. Okay, yeah. If... Now's not the time to really discuss this until they get safely out of the territory. What should we do, Big Brother Peros? That's bravado. The Straw Hat, Ship, and Mama are splitting up. Yeah, Peros Sparrow's gotta make a call, because he's pretty much... He's the first son. But I think the commanders, like the sweet commanders, the three of them are higher rank than him. But Dogtooth's not here. Cracker is kaputz. And maybe Smoothie's here? Because he, he's like... He's like Oh, he's getting a phone call on the Dendamuchi, I think. And, oh, it's from Capone. This is Big. Big, you bastard, what exactly are you planning to do? Leave Mama's tantrum to us. We'll let her eat the cake, and then we'll let her go. And then Peros Barrow, obviously, don't lie. He thinks it's poisoned, which is totally an accurate assumption. All right, page 10. Just relax and treat... Oh, oh, Capone, dirty bastard with the little lines in front of his head. He definitely is a pirate. He's not like buddy buddy with the straw hats like Law. He just needed them to make the cake so they could stop Big Mom. Just relax and chase the straw hats. You bastard cack. And then he just hangs up on him. And then Paro Sparrow is saying pursue Big Ship to Bravadois. Bavarois. They're definitely going to try to assassinate Mama. They might have gotten rid of Pudding already, which they did. She's on the straw hat ship. But bro, but big bro Peros, what about the straw hat ship? This, this dude's so ugly looking. Peros, Pero, and this other guy. They'll be sunk at Coco Island no matter what, additionally. Oh, because that's where Dogtooth is gonna be. So Peros, Pero is counting on Dogtooth to be done with Luffy and to be able to finish them off. And he's calling Smoothie right now. Smoothie respond, have you been following behind us? Yeah, we have Big Brother. Yeah, what are you doing to Smoothie right now? <sighs> Big shot of Peril Sparrow's face with his tongue out. Ugh. You guys are to say, like, ugh, I can't even look at his face. It's nasty. Like, people say, like, Waluigi looks like a child, like, rapist, but, like, Peril Sparrow, definitely. You guys are to sail straight ahead and chase the straw hat ship. Bovarios and I are going to pursue Big and Big and Mama. Okay, so we got a little diagram. Big Mom chasing Beige. And so are Perospero and Bavarios. Bavarios. And Smoothie's gonna come from behind to go after the Sunny. Hmm. Interesting battle. Smoothie versus. Well, not Care, because she's out. And not really Chopper, because he just turned back from Monster Point, so he should be out for an hour, two or three hours. Nami, Sanji, Brooke, and Jimbei. That'd be a cool fight. Smoothie versus Nami, Sanji, Brooke, and Jimbei. Uh, page 11 now. That'd be interesting. Okay, she goes, Roger that. You should have just left it to us from the beginning. Tough. We've been given order after order, but this would have been much more efficient if everyone had just waited on Coco Island. Who is was his big sister saying this. And, um, they're so rash. Men are such idiots. Oh, we got some... Feminist pirates, or oh, feminazis maybe. And drank tea while eating chocolate all from the start. Okay, so we got Smoothie's crew. Charlotte, family, 14th daughter, Charlotte Smoothie, one of the three sweet commanders. And then Charlotte family, 15th daughter, so right after Smoothie. 
Charlotte Citron. I guess that's like citrus. Cit Citron. And then Charlotte Family 16th daughter, Charlotte Cinnamon. Okay. They all look like Long Leg Tribe members, so they all probably have the same father from the Long Leg Tribe. Smoothie looks a little taller, and the one in the middle obviously looks very fat, or very like, wide, which just looks awkward because she's so tall. And the other one kind of looks like a normal person, but with really long legs. Smoothie kind of has, her body is like a different shape, but the one on the left just looks like a normal person that was just given long legs, but Smoothie looks a little more, her whole body looks a little longer than her, if that makes any sense. Don't say that everyone, Smoothie's talking to her sister who's just like, men are such idiots, and she's like, don't say that everyone, prepare for battle. Okay. Okay, so nice to know that Smoothie isn't a feminist. Well, I have nothing wrong with feminists, but people who unfairly group everyone together in a category, I have a problem with that. Okay, page 12. Nami, they found out about her meeting with Luffy. Yeah, right now, Coco Island is probably being surrounded with fleets waiting to ambush us. And Dogtooth is going to be... No, wait, Dogtooth isn't there. He's in the mirror world. He knows Luffy's trying to get to Coco Island, but he's not there himself. I forgot about that. See, when One Piece is gone for two weeks, I need to reread the chapter beforehand. Okay, Jinbei, oddly enough, they seem to have recognized us as strong opponents. That's the title of the chapter. They've left... The hardest part for last, if we fight the fleet, we're bound to lose. Probably a fleet of Big Mom's pirates, with only Jinbei, Sanji, and Nami, and Brooke. Plus, if Smoothie's there, like, that's... I don't know, that doesn't look like good odds. But if we go by the fact that Smoothie is going to be stronger than Cracker because she had a higher bounty, that's what I'm basing that assumption off, that she will be, like, a formidable opponent. Um, is this enough shifting? Hand it over, after them. Oh wait, oh, oh! B Capone's handing it over. Oh no, no, Big Mom. Or maybe, Cap I don't know who's saying hand it over, and then Big Mom is saying after them. Yes, thank you, Big. We're definitely, we've definitely lured in something terrifying. Honestly, our hands are full with trying to escape. So assassination on top of that seems impossible. Yeah, I was gonna say it. I'd imagine Prometheus, like, obviously I haven't seen this animated, so I don't know how fast Prometheus moves, if he moves maybe a little slower than Zeus does, but, um, I don't think they'd be able to outrun him on the, the sea, unless Capone's ship can go, like, super fast. Page 13. That's what it means to repay someone, right? It's alright, believe in the taste of the cake, that cook is really an amazing guy. See, this is, so Cohen is so, like, polarizing. At one minute, he's like, go after the Straw Hats, you know, fuck them, and then right here, he's, like, cheering them on, so it's a little, well, no, he's not cheering them on. He goes, damn, that's why I love you, Shifton. Ooh, or Chiffon, not Shif, Chiffon. Sorry if I was saying that wrong. Ooh, ah, this whole crew. I don't know what to think of Capone pirates. Sometimes they, they feel like real pirates, and sometimes they just feel like goofy allies, but I don't think they are. Okay. Uh, back to the sunny. A different fleet is chasing after us. I like how Otis focusing on this and not going back and forth between Luffy and Dogtooth. I mean, I don't mind that if it's at the end of the chapter, but I like when he focuses most of the chapter on one thing that's happening rather than jumping back and forth, because that, I don't know, I don't feel like I get a lot from that. A uh, different fleet is chasing after us. That's Commander Smoothie, says Jinbei. Has a big smoothie on her mast, on her uh, sail. Okay. Okay, now they're discussing what they have. Oh, Pudding's there, too. I forgot about that. How much longer until we reach Coco Island? It'll be a little over three hours. They must be exhausted. Holy shit. <laughs> Jinbei just sitting there with the steering wheel. Looks so, Is he sitting down? He has to be, because he looks as tall as Nami. Yeah, Jinbei's definitely... Because I'm almost positive Jinbei is, like, ten feet tall, so he's taller than Pro. So he has to be sitting down. Um... We'll get around there at 1 a.m. So three hours, so 12. It's like 10, it's 10 o'clock at night right now. Damn, how are they seeing anything? Maybe Prometheus is giving off a little light for them. We'll get there around 1 a.m. I'm really interested in how they're gonna animate this then, if it's, everything's happening in the dark. Get there around 1 a.m. We didn't know where or when Luffy, we don't know where or when Luffy's going to appear, and we have no way to tell him it's dangerous. Yeah, they don't have any connection to Luffy. 
The only plan, Sanji, the only plan I could think of is to pass through Coco Island. Pass through. Is he saying like Kuda burst straight over it and have Luffy grab on? Pass through. Interesting. All right, page um, 14. This is a good long chapter. I'm glad we got like a very heavy chapter like this. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Why is this? Let me zoom in. This um, page is very. Ah, I almost exited out. This is really very small. For some reason, the the panel on this page is very tiny and very blurry, which sucks. Which is unfortunate. I went to page 15 real quick and I didn't look at it, but it looks like that's back to normal. So it's just this one page is very tiny. A Coco Island, okay, it looks like there's a, a lot of ships. It's, it's like I'm saying, it's a little hard to tell right now because it's blurry, but Coco Island. Master Oven, oh, Oven's here. The f the fleets are slowly surrounding the island. There is, is there really a need for all this? There's no way that Master Katakuri will let Straw Hat escape. If you have an issue with this, tell Tamago and Montor. It's necessary, big, and then this is uh, Montor on the, the Nemushi. It's ne a necessary, Big Brother Oven. Can you believe it? The big explosion on the Chateau was deliberate too. It doesn't matter if they're rookies or if they only have a few people left. We can't make light of them. Sorry, it's a little hard to read. If we let them escape now, it would be the greatest shame and embarrassment. I'm glad only one page is tiny like this. And then it looks like a bunch of townspeople. Like, huh? Did you not hear me? Do it immediately. All civilians return to your homes and break all your mirrors. Okay, so this is so Luffy can't escape. No way, even the valuable ones? Throw the ones you don't want to break into the ocean and retrieve them in a few days. Okay, that's compromisable. Throw the ones you want to keep into the ocean. And they're, this is smart. They only have one mirror. Oven's getting on top of things. I like this. It was probably Montor's idea, but um, still. The only surviving piece of mirror on this island is going to be this one. There must be no others. If by any chance at all Straw Hat is able to escape using any of your mirrors, we'll execute your whole thing. Family, hurry up! Yikes. Page 15. Let me zoom back out because this is a normal page. Mirror World: Luffy versus Katakuri. Just destruction everywhere. Luffy on the ground looks defeated. Katakuri, don't stand up again. Where do you see a chance of your victory? Little by little, his color of observation, and he's thinking little by little. Or this is Oda saying it. Little by little, his color of observation hockey is in is approaching mine. Oh, this is Katakuri saying that. That just seems so weird. And then Luffy, huffing, huffing, and then it like, looks like something's flying at him. He dodged it out of the way. If I didn't, if I don't get rid of him now, what if there's even a one in a million chance? Huff. He's thinking if he doesn't get rid of him now, what if he comes back in the future and whoops my ass? Okay, Katakuri's blowing up his arm with the spear in it, or the trident. Luffy looks so tired. Page 16. Mochi. Luffy even has like a big black eye. Like his eye is a big welt on it. And then it looks like Luffy kind of like moves out of the way. Ah! Holy Jesus! Oh, shit. Oh my god. Let me go back up real quick. Mochi, Luffy sees it coming. But he barely moves out of the way. And it looks like a chunk is taken out of his side. Holy shit. Mochi thrust. And it looks like his shirt. His shirt definitely got torn, but I think that's part of his stomach, too. Oh my god. Yeah, it definitely hit him. Luffy is screaming. Oh my god, that just gave me chills, the last panel of him screaming. And it even says, deep regret. And then you see the, um, the daughter, I don't remember her name, from, to, from last chapter, who was Katakuri's big fan laughing. Oh, I'm going back up real quick. Holy shit. He got part, he definitely got part of his stomach. Luffy, uh, it looks like he's making the face when 
Ace died. Is that the end? That's the end of the chapter. Why does it say so many more pages? Page 17? Oh, this is just like a colored pages and stuff. Well, okay. That seems like that, um, Luffy's probably not going to be Katakuri, which is good. But, oh my god, what the fuck's going to happen then? Holy. Oh, this is so, this is like, it's hyping me up. And it didn't say no One Piece next week, so thank you. Thank you, praise the gods, praise to ML. I don't even know what to say, really. Um, it looks like Luffy is totally cornered. He's got Katakuri on top of him in the mirror world. Even if he tries to escape, all the mirrors on Coco Island are broken. So besides the one. So even if he gets out, he's badly injured. And there's an army there. I don't see how this is going to happen. Unless he somehow uses a mirror to go to an island different than Coco Island. And somehow, but like, he said he was meet his crew on Coco Island, so I don't think he would do that. I don't know what's going to happen. I really don't. Thank you very much, guys. Uh, like the video if you did. It um, helps the channel grow. It's been growing, which is good. I'm very happy about that. Leave a comment if you want to give me any constructive criticism about my videos or let me know what you thought of the chapter. Um, and subscribe if you like this kind of content. And um, have a nice day, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.